Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about SQL and learning it. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, do I have to learn SQL in order to be a software developer? And the short answer is most likely, but you don't have to be a master of it. Let me explain. So if you have the desire to be a backend developer or work with a database of any kind, you pretty much have to learn SQL or SQL. It is, uh, well, technically not every database uses that specific flavor of writing queries to a database. It's the relational databases that uses this, such as say Postgres or MySQL or MariaDB or MariaDB, I think that's, that sounds more English or whatever. But databases such as say, I don't know, MongoDB or Neo4j or ArangoDB, I think, and say Redis and things like that, they are not using the exact same, like they're using a different query system. It's still like, it's just a query, it's a query language, but SQL is by far the most common one because relational databases are among the most common databases out there on the, on the market. And I'm just saying to you that it's not that, I, being a master of SQL, that's not something that you need to, to worry all that much about. It used to be the case that there were, and there's, I suppose in some cases there still are, people who work as what we call database administrators or things of this nature. And these people usually specialized quite a lot in that because it used to be the case that you had a lot of data or you needed, you had a complicated database set up and you needed someone to administrate the database and they wrote fairly complicated queries in order to grab out, to grab statistics and different sorts of things from the database in order to present to some person somewhere, right? But you don't have to worry about going to that level of mastery. As a software developer, it's usually enough for you to know the basics. And that's usually how to get something, how to update something, how to delete something, and maybe how to add, you know, how to add rows and things of this nature, of course. And then I would highly suggest that you learn how to do joins, to just join information, like join columns from one table onto a, well, a result set of other columns, because that's going to cover most of your use cases when you're working with relational databases. So you don't like, you don't have to go super deep into this and become a master of all, because there's so many more things that you could be doing, but the CRUD stuff, create, read, update, and delete, together with learning how to do a join, should be enough for most developers looking to actually do professional grade software development. So what I want you to take away from this is that learning SQL as a backend developer is more or less a requirement, I would say. It's not like every single company is using a relational database, but most of them are. And you are in many ways a little bit expected to at least know how it works. So you should do this. It doesn't mean that that's what you're gonna do at your job, but it's very good hygiene to learn it. If you're gonna be a front-end developer or some person who never touches a database, then no, you don't really have to learn it. But I can just say that for the most part, part guys, SQL is not, it, it takes a few hours of reading maybe and a little bit of practice once you learn how to actually do coding to start to figure things out. And it's not that common that you may write your own SQL queries every single day. Sometimes, most of the time you're using an ORM or something like that, that take, that's another video. So it, it's not, trust me, it's not as scary as it might sound. Have a great day.